Hey there, hello, I'm Nicole Gebhardt and welcome to The Remarkable Way, where we help small business owners like you build the business you really want. Before we jump into today's show, I'd like to invite you to visit theremarkableway.com and grab my free small business report, where I'm going to show you how to avoid those random acts of marketing. Now for today's show. All right, I want to join you and invite you into a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me again about one of the most popular questions I get regarding social media and marketing your small business. And that question is, do I have to be on Facebook? All right, so whether it's Facebook or LinkedIn, the real question is, do I have to be in social media? And so I'm going to answer that for you today with the good news and bad news. So now it's important for you to understand that I personally have a love-hate relationship with social media. So you're not going to hear me say you have to do this like so many other marketers do. There's some tips I'm going to give you in a minute about how to determine if you need to be on social media and which one is right for you. But the first thing I want you to realize is that social media is perhaps the biggest party of the century or certainly the biggest party of the decade. And so when you're not on there, it's noticeable that you're not attending the big party. So you're not entering conversations about your children and about friends and about things that are happening in people's lives. And so people notice when you're not part of that conversation. They also notice then when you're not, when you're in a public event, uh, whether it's a networking event or wherever, and people are talking about, oh, I'm sorry about your grandmother, I hear that she's ill, or congratulations, I see that you just had a new baby or a grandchild or whatever it might be, when you're not part of that awareness, then you're not part of that conversation. So that is the advantage to having a Facebook account in particular. Now, the disadvantage is that Facebook and all social media is this bright, shiny object that as small business owners, it's really hard for us not to get sucked in and spend a lot of time and lose a lot of time on social media. So that's my biggest concern for me personally and for you is that when you get into social media that you're able to be utterly focused and get in, do what you need to do and leave. My personal strategy is that I try to get in there regularly, post quickly and then leave and then allow myself reward times when I'm eating, uh, if I'm eating lunch at my desk and then in the evening I like to cuddle up with my, app, uh, with my iPad and go through Facebook and catch up with different people and what's going on. But during working hours it's really important that you're not finding yourself back in there addicted to checking up what's go checking on what's going on because you lose so much time and focus even with a five minute distraction. Um, five minutes could quickly turn into 20 minutes of chatter and then the mental distraction that comes with it. So that's my warning about controlling your time on Facebook and, and social media. Now the question is, do you need to have an account on there and represent your business on there? And here's how you know that answer. I want you to sit down and make a list of your top 20 clients. So these are either the ones that you've got right now that are actively buying from you or recently bought from you. They're the ideal people that you like doing business with or they're the candidates that you really would like to be doing business with. But I want you to have at least 20 names in front of you and you're going to spend about an hour doing this. I want you to write their name on a spreadsheet and then I want you to go and research. Do they have a personal Facebook page, a LinkedIn page, your Twitter account and which one are they using the most? That's how you can begin to tell about which conversation or which party you need to be at. So hopefully you'll see a trend where your conversations are tending to aggregate on Facebook and then the question is are you willing and able and ready to attend that party for your business. The other thing I want you to understand is the difference between a Facebook and a LinkedIn account in particular. Facebook is much more social. It is much more of a party when you show up. So selling on Facebook, particularly from your personal page, but from your personal and business page, can sometimes be kind of taboo. Really it's about entering the conversation and having um, shared items of value to other people, but really consider it like a party. When is it appropriate to talk business and when is it not? Now on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is much more like a networking business meeting. It's like chamber of commerce meetings or a networking group like BNI. When you get on LinkedIn, you're there with a much more professional stature and so I want you sharing much more um, business and professional content. So it's not a place on LinkedIn for you to be announcing baby births and uh, children's birthday parties and things that are going on in your life. That's a place for you to show up professionally and share argument or 
share content related to your business, and establish, establish yourself as an expert in your business. I hope that helps you decide if you should join the social media party. Thanks for joining me on The Remarkable Way. I invite you to leave us a five-star review on iTunes and then head over to theremarkableway.com and grab that small business marketing report. No more random acts of marketing. Thanks. I'll see you next time.